In today's video, we're going to let you know the current operational status of U.S. embassies and consulates. Visit us at Southern Glee channel with your questions to see how best we can help you out to your process. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Let's get into the video. As a result of the coronavirus epidemic, U.S. visa services were suspended all around the world. Most U.S. embassies and consulates have resumed certain immigrants and non-immigrant visa appointments as restrictions begin to lift. Let's know the current operational status of U.S. embassies and consulates. Current operational status of Mexico. The U.S. Consulate General in Clara Juarez, in Clara Juarez has resumed routine immigrant visa operations, scheduling thousands of socially distanced interviews each week in all immigrant visa categories. The U.S. Embassy and Consulate in Mexico have resumed limited processing of non-immigrant visas. Applicants applying in the same visa class on whose previous visa expired within the last 48 months may be eligible for interview waiver. Current operational status of United Kingdom, the U.S. Embassy in London, and the U.S. Consulate in Belfast currently are open for emergency non-immigrant visa services only. They have not resumed routine visa services, including tourist visa services. Immigrant visa appointments are available but limited. Current operational status of Philippines, U.S. Embassy Manila has resumed all routine visa services. Wait times for interviews or long except for immediate relatives. For non-immigrant visas, the embassy is prioritizing applicants with urgent travel needs. Current operational status of Dominican Republic. The U.S. Embassy in Santo Domingo is now interviewing all categories of immigrant visas. Limited routine work and student visa services have resumed. The embassy has resumed in-person interviews for tourist visa applicants whose interviews were cancelled on March 13, 2020. Current operational status of Thailand. The U.S. Embassy and Consulate General in Thailand has resumed routine on immigrant and immigrant visa services. Applicants are also able to renew their visa by mail. Current operational status of Nigeria. The U.S. Embassy in Abuja and Consulate General in Lagos are offering limited non-immigrant and immigrant visa services. Current operational status of Colombia. The U.S. Embassy in Bogota has suspended routine non-immigrant visa operations. A limited number of immigrant visa services are available. Current operational status of India. The U.S. Consulate in Mumbai reopened all immigrant visa services. Routine non-immigrant services remain limited at U.S. Embassy New Delhi. And the consulates Chennai, Hyderabad, Kolkata and Mumbai. Current operational status of Brazil. The U.S. Embassy and consulate in Brazil have resumed routine on immigrant visa appointments. Immigrant visa services are currently offered but wait times are long. Current operational status of China. Regular visa services have resumed at the U.S. Embassy. Beijing and the U.S. Consulate General in Gazo and Shenyang. The Shenyang office is currently closed and will likely only reopen when the lockdown lifts. All consular services at U.S. Consulate General Chengdu have been suspended on further notice. Current operational status of Ukraine. The U.S. Department of State has suspended consular services at the U.S. Embassy in Kiev due to the Russia invasion. The State Department has designated Consular General Frankfurt as the primary processing location for Ukrainians. Those applying for IR3 or for adoption visas or A or G visas should submit the uh, applications at the U.S. Embassy Warsaw. Current operational status of Russia. U.S. Embassy in Moscow has suspended all immigrant visa services. The U.S. Embassy in Warsaw is processing immigrant visas for residents of Russia. Visa services at U.S. Consulate in Yekaterinburg and Vladivostok remain suspended due to critically low staffing. Current operational status of Vietnam. The U.S. Embassy in Hanoi has resumed limited visa services. Non-immigrant and immigrant emergency appointments are available by request. Non-immigrant and immigrant visa interviews have slowly started to resume. All 221 applicants may go to the U.S. Consulate General in Ho Chi Minh City for an interview anytime between 8.30 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday, except holidays. The consulate will see 221 applicants on a first-come, first-served basis. Current operational status of Canada. The U.S. Embassy and Consulate in Canada have resumed U.S. citizen services 
and most non-immigrant visa services. Current operational status of Indonesia, the U.S. Embassy in Jakarta is offering immigrant visa services in all categories. The U.S. Embassy in Jakarta and Consulate General Surabaya have resumed limited appointments for all non-immigrant visa categories. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If you know anybody that could benefit from this information, definitely make sure to share this video with them. We're all about empowering you with knowledge. So the more people that can benefit from this video, the more people we want watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs icon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell for more immigration updates. Bye!